Good morning, angels, and welcome to day 10. Can't believe we're at day 10 already of Vlogmas. Isn't that not crazy? Um, not starting at home because I was out early this morning. Um, had to meet someone from my management. They gave me a little Christmas gift, which was so sweet. Um, I love my management team. They're awesome. Uh, anyway, and then I was also meeting someone because Sean and I had some Raptors tickets that we sold online. So I was just meeting... Uh, that person who actually ended up being like so so nice right um, but we were meeting in a public spot obviously to be safe and uh, yeah so met them and now Sean and I are actually on our way to anthropology you guys saw yesterday that the jumpsuit I was wearing like I just wasn't feeling it and I'm all for just returning stuff get it out of the way um, like ASAP don't think about it and like I said be picky like if you're not loving something don't like why keep it to just feel ho hum or to keep it in the back of your closet and then basically never wear it because you don't feel fabulous in it. So yeah, we're gonna go return it, but we did stop this morning and get coffee. I got the, this is my first Starbucks holiday drink by the way, which I know is kind of delayed, but I got the caramel brulee latte, but I got it half sweet, which is at the recommendation of the guy at the counter. And I totally agree, although it's still even too sweet for me, so I wish I mean, I don't know how many pumps of whatever they put in this. Two pumps, one squirt. <laughs> how do you know? Starbucks barista? <laughs> so, I think... Um, what you call a sexual innuendo, my dear. Oh, John. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think going forward, I would totally get this again, but depending on how they make the drink, I would do maybe like a quarter of what they normally do, like sweetness-wise. And I like sweet stuff, but like this is just overkill for me personally. Anyway, the rest of the day, we're gonna go house hunting. You guys know that um, I had mentioned to you in yesterday's vlog that I probably will not show that process just because, yeah, well, I already expressed that. I don't need to, I don't need to go over it again. Um, but I do want to address a question that's been coming up in Vlogmas a couple of times, well actually more than a couple of times, quite a few times actually, that I have gotten in past but I thought I would address while Sean's in the car uh, as well and that is the topic of children, whether we plan on having them. Um, you grouping me in on us? Because, well, you're my other half. I'm gonna, you know. Um, anyway, the topic of children is one that comes up frequently and being that I'm a woman, obviously women get directed this question all the time. Sean and I will not be having children. It's not something that we want in our lives. Now, I want to preface this by saying that we both love children. I have a nephew that I'm obsessed with. My kids have, or my kids, my best friends and friends have children that I absolutely love to death. I love visiting with them. Um, I love playing with them. I love spending time with them. Um, and our like our families have like our cousins and stuff all have kids and whatnot as well and we love them however for Sean and I I guess I should say first of all it was a challenging decision to come to terms with as a female from my perspective only because I feel like women are so pressured to have kids and growing up to be honest I was never the girly girl like I never thought about a wedding when I was growing up I never thought about having kids like it was just never on my radar so when I started growing up and um, like friends were talking about how badly they wanted babies and everything else like Sean and I definitely entertained it eh, for like a while and even the place we had now we got an extra bedroom with the intention of potentially having a child because we really did entertain it seriously for about a year but once we weighed out like the financial commitment that I think maybe a lot of people and I'm not saying this to pass judgment but I don't think a lot of people think about the financial commitment involved with kids they just want a baby um, once we kind of weighed that out and whether we actually want to change our lives in that way because it is such a huge life-changing decision we just realized it wasn't something personally for us and um yeah i mean you moms out there like you are my superheroes i don't know how you do it i'm so tired at the end of the day from my work day and like just trying to keep up with friends and family and everything else so those of you that, you know, once you're done your work day and you're making dinner, you still have kids to look after and get ready for bed and make dinner for and help them with their homework and everything else. Like, you guys are rock stars. Seriously. It's amazing. I, yeah. So, anyway, like I said, I, we love children. It's just not a part of our game plan. We're so, so happy and feel so blessed with our life as is. 
And if it ever happened accidentally that I got pregnant, we know we would be fantastic parents and we would love that baby to death and take care of it. But as an act of choice, it will not be something that we do. Um, and we're okay with that. But it was something that for me personally as a woman, it was a harder decision to be okay with because we do get asked this question all the time. Like, when are you having kids? Like, it's kind of like everyone expects that to be the next step after you get married. And if you don't, then you're obviously career obsessed or whatever. And I definitely love my job, um, but it's not a career obsession thing. It's just, yeah, it was just not a part of my game plan. So anyway, hopefully you guys understand the explanation or hopefully I've voiced that appropriately. It, I, and I don't, I mean, everyone's so sensitive nowadays online. Like I don't want to offend anybody. It's just a personal decision for Sean and I. And you feel the same way, right? Got it? Yeah. Anyway, so we're happy with our decision, but we do get questioned about it frequently. Now that I'm, I'm gonna be 37, actually my birthday's at the very beginning of January, January 2nd, baby. Um, for me too, like I feel like, you know, we're, I mean, lots of people are having babies older now, but yeah, for me, I like, I'm just so comfortable with that decision. But uh, yeah, anyway, love kids, just not a part of our game plan. You guys should have seen, this is this totally off topic thing. When we got in the car, Sean put on the new Black Eyed Peas album, and he's like, oh, this song's totally about me. <laughs> and the song's called what, babe? It's called Dopeness. <laughs> you know how dope someone is? I'm like, okay, honey. Right? Shocks are shocks, man. Some anthropology, and look at that bag. Is that not so cute? That color is beautiful. So nice. I got some really cute stuff. And this is what Sean does when I'm in stores, eh, honey? <laughs> around 2 30 we are just heading to my brother Adam's place I have two biological brothers and two stepbrothers and um, we are going to do a Christmas tradition where we stir Christmas pudding it's something that my mom started prior to her passing away and um, it's her recipe that my brother carries on and what we do is after he's made it we go and stir the Christmas pudding while having a wish it was something that my, com my mom did with us as kids and we've never missed it so Adam's done that for us he did it last year I mean he always does it it's awesome so that's what Sean and I are doing now we're just out front of his place so we're gonna go in to see Emerson my little nephew see Melissa and we're actually the only ones out, unfortunately, because my other brother and his fiance live uh, much too far away. They're just over two hours away from us. And um, my dad and Leslie, um, we didn't realize are celebrating her family's side of Christmas uh, today. And she's the one entertaining all of them, so she won't be joining us. So I don't know if they'll come and like stir it on another day or whether my brother's going to get them... Like the pudding's going right away, but I think it's just gonna be Sean and I today. <laughs> or it is gonna be Sean and I today, right? I don't know. Yeah. I didn't check the guest list. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go inside. I talked to him on the phone so he can Where's that? Uh, he's gonna, I'm gonna like the video him so he's the face here. and Chris is gonna put it back film in? it. Okay. <laughs> Are you cool with that? What am I filming? Do you hear what we're gonna do? No. We're gonna put Brandon on the video screen and go like this. And oh, you're gonna do film it! it. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Laura. Uh, I, I love how you're already videotaping at this moment. <laughs> well, we have to vlog it. <laughs> you guys can't miss it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna, we get to, we only have to, or we have to have one face in at a time, and then we're gonna have you stir, and we're gonna record your face stirring. <laughs> I can't I can't take credit for this. This is all Adam's uh masterpiece. So are you attaching me to the spoon? Okay, well here, hold on. Let hold me on. show you. Hold on. Okay. So can I just Yeah, you take it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, so Okay, Brandon, just hold it so it's up to just your face, okay? Oh wait, I should go like this. This makes it really fun. Yeah, we just want your face. Hold it up no, to your face. Get out of it. Okay. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Him, he has to actually make. You have to make a wish, though. Okay, so you actually have to close your eyes, okay? Am I stirring? Not yet. Okay. Now, tell, now okay, we're go now. Go, we're stirring now. Make a wish. <laughs> This is epic. <laughs> the okay, you gotta close your eyes. Okay, you gotta close your eyes. Okay, make a wish. We're stirring. <laughs> this is the best. This is modern day family at its finest. <laughs> okay, you're good. <laughs> You don't know? Who? Are you gonna find him? Where is he behind the couch? No. No? Where is he? I don't know. Is he under the table? No. No. Is he under the tree? Under the tree? No. No? Hmm. What if we look in the kitchen? Okay, let's have a peek. <laughs> Did he get you? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, sorry, I kind of forgot about you. It's later in the evening now. It's almost seven o'clock. Um, anyway, I'm calling, or I'm calling, oh my gosh. I want to update you guys. We went to do some house hunting today, which is part of the reason for the big gap. So I explained why we weren't gonna show any of the house hunting process, but I think Sean and I found our house. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, we're just waiting for a little bit of information on some things that we want to hear about first, but if all goes well, I think we're gonna put an offer in. Oh my God, I am so thrilled and I'm super, super in love with this place I went to go see. So if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna be really, really, really disappointed. That was Jasmine, by the way. Hi, honey. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, obviously, uh, if we end up getting this place, you guys will get like a house tour and stuff when the time becomes appropriate. Um, but it is vacant right now, so the good news is that if we do end up snagging it and putting an offer in, obviously, if, yeah, if it goes through, then uh, we can move in it like ASAP, which would be phenomenal. So I'm so excited. So I feel kind of bad that I forgot about you guys, but at the same time, it was a good busy and I'm happy about what's going on. So uh, yeah, I will definitely keep you guys posted on what is happening. Oh, but I'm so excited, like so freaking excited. So um, for tonight, now that I've abandoned you for uh, basically half of the day, and you guys saw that we visited uh, Emerson and my brother and all that kind of stuff, it's been a good day. I think Sean and I are gonna order food because we don't have anything here, eh babe? <laughs> and uh, we're gonna talk about what happened today, like he and I, and we're waiting some information from our fab realtor, um, who's also family. <laughs> you don't think he's fab? No. No, why not? Jackass. <laughs> it's his cousin. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm just like riding on cloud nine right now. I know I shouldn't be like this excited when we don't know what's gonna happen yet, but like I get really attached to stuff when I'm like, it just feels like Sean and I, like it just feels like the perfect fit for us. You know what, I'm gonna add, or open the advent calendar now, otherwise I'm gonna forget. And uh, yeah, so let's get that done. By the way, one of you commented earlier today that you thought Sean was being mean to me in like one of the earlier vlogs and he's not. His sense of humor is super dry. So take no offense, if I'm laughing along with him, it's all Yo. good. It's all good. What? Did I say you could talk to the camera? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> right, so we are looking for day 10. Oh my gosh, why is this not staying open? Uh, oh, day 10's right at the top. Oh my god, it's another candle. I'm so excited. Just good things all around today. Okay, and we have the candle. Oh, we have the candle roses. Oh, this is a really, really good one. So pretty. I know I keep saying that about all the candles, but it's because I really, really love Diptyque. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys haven't tried them, highly recommend treating yourself. I know it's a bit pricey for candles, but honestly, they're so worth it. And my little angels have been so good today. You've been sleeping away in the back while mommy and papa have been gone, huh? Yeah. 
but it's all for good reason. All for good reason, eh, sweet boy? Hey, my little angel. Yeah, what a good baby bee. It's a good bee. Look at that little underbite. <laughs> Jasmine, meanwhile, look. They just got fed. She pushed both of the bowls into the corner. Cause look at her. <laughs> Jasmine, you just ate honey. You just had dinner. It's all gone. Mommy's gonna pick those bowls up so you stop licking them. <laughs>